to Holidays, Wreath of Steam, <laughs> Wheel, Wheel of Holiday, Wheel of Bree, Wheel of Bree, whatever it is, we are playing Fort Parker's Holiday Profit Hike from my favorite company, Devolver Digital, Ooh. and Dodge Roll, who, uh, all the people involved in Enter the Gungeon, one of our favorite shows here mm. at Shake the Box, favorite shows, favorite games here <laughs> at Shake the Box. Anyway... We are doing a few little holiday games. We're going to have some extra short Wheels of Steam for a little while because uh, the holidays. Yeah, you got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. Yeah. Uh, you know. And it's 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 leading into something bigger and greater. Yeah. These Wheels of Steams are going to get shorter until suddenly something magical is I going to happen. I love how you leave these little, these little hints in all of our videos. Yes, in all of our shows. It's, I'm it's, like, it's like you're like Nick Fury kind of like <laughs> sprinkling in the, the Infinity Stones. I'm very excited for our, our year two mm -hmm. change that's going to happen. I'm, I'm very excited. Don't hype it up too much because it's not that different. Yeah, hey, I'm excited. But uh, I'm excited too. Anyway, here we are. We're Fork Parker. We are here to hike for holidays. Is he throwing like winter hats? I'm throwing uh, throwing these. What is I that? A scarf? It's a uh, it's like a climby. Oh, all right. I thought it was like holiday themed. Okay. Because I could use these to get around. Although oh, spikes oh, will spikes. kill. I thought it was fire, but yeah, no, it was the icicles. Yeah. So I like his uh, his look when he's grabbing onto the the oh, ledge. Right? He's like, oh no! Like, oh jeez. I want, to, I want to get that again. He's an agile old man. Right? I mean, anything for money. There he is. Oh! Oh! oh. I mean, he is... I'm, I'm gonna talk with great authority, but I don't know for sure, but... I like to think he is greatly uh, inspired by Scrooge McDuck. I was thinking that, too, because he's a rich man going on adventures, and he's old. Like, the duck part is the only part that's different. Yes, he, he's not a duck, but he's clearly an old... Oh, God. He's clearly an old man, out for money. Anyway, this is a very fun game, and it's just, it was provided for free a few Christmases ago. That's pretty good. Yeah, I really like uh, Dodge Roll and Devolver Digital. They're among my favorite companies. They've made games I truly enjoy and play a lot of. Look at that money. Look at that money. Look at that money. And they just did this for free. It was like a fun little present for people. That's so nice of them. It was nice of them. I really like the gameplay, too, because you just make your own platforms using the ropes. Mm-hmm. That's fun, a little base camp there. Yeah. As you uh, progress, like, that is your... Well, checkpoint, I mean. Your checkpoints, yeah. yeah. I like it when games incorporate, you know, stuff in, you know, like, like that kind of thing where it's like... And, and it's so obvious, oh, it must be a checkpoint there, you know? Yeah, like, it just naturally <clears throat> works. Whoops. That's fine. That suits my purposes. <laughs> So I guess the main game mechanic here is making these little ropes. Yeah, and getting as much money as we can because uh, it's a holiday oh, profit. Oh, it's a little ugly sweater. It is a bit of an ugly holiday sweater. What do you think about ugly sweaters? They've 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 gone from legit to ironic to sort of like legit ironic, and now yeah. like I don't know, they're not they're not funny anymore because everyone's in on on the joke now. I mean, at this point, like. Holiday sweaters are like an event that happens at Starbucks. Yeah, like you get ugly, you get ugly sweater cookies. Yep. And it's like, like I don't know. It just feels it's got it's gone full circle. It's like it's like, it, it like uh, ugly sweaters were like a genuine thing. And then and then people started making fun of them like oh ugly sweaters are stupid right let's make fun of them and now it's like hey it's Christmas get out the eggnog the ugly sweaters and your favorite Christmas tree it, it it's like ugly sweater is like a term now of endearment yeah because because it's like oh we can be you know, like I don't know like I I I I think I just revealed myself to be the hugest hipster now because you know I was into ugly sweaters before they were cool and now and now they're too mainstream. Uh, but I guess that's what I'm saying, and I guess I walked right into that. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> the truth has come out. Andrew is just a horrifying hipster. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know. To, more to the point, it's just kind of weird how that happened. Not not so much like, oh man, they took ugly sweaters from me. Like, I never actually... I was never actually that into <laughs> ugly sweaters. I went to it one... It was your life. I went to one ugly sweater party, and I don't think my sweater was ugly enough. I just think it's interesting how it's evolved over the years. I just really like this game. It's so Fun. simple. Oh no! no! You popped. 
I fell as far as I could. I guess that's true. Alright, baby. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. You can be impressed now. I'm a little impressed. A little bit? Come on. I'm I'm genuinely so so wrapped with imp <laughs> impression. That is a good phrase that means nothing. I yeah, it does mean nothing, but it should mean something. Why isn't there a word for that? I just want to know. All right, all right. Why isn't there a word for the thing everyone thinks ironic means? That's a good question. Because everyone uses it wrong. There should just be a word for that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, while we're, we're on the subject of ironic shirts, I mean, why not bring that up? Yeah, you raised some good points. Raised some excellent points. Oh. Like, um... I'm trying to think of an example of what I mean, but I can't. Oh, no! I'm old and infirm and I slipped. There we go. Huh. No, yes. Oh man, you get a lot of these uh, these tents. Yeah, yeah, you gotta give them. Oh, that's that's an adorable little penguin. What a nice little pangy. Oh, a cute little pangy. Does he kill you? He does. <laughs> the answer is of course. Of course he kills. What else would he be doing there? Well, that hurt a lot. <laughs> I want that money. Um, Can I jump on his head? I kind of wasn't paying attention to the opening of this. Why? Why is he? Why is he going on this profit hike? Oh, our, our profits for the quarter are down, and yeah. he's like, "I'll take care of it." Oh, he's he's finding money. Yeah. Well, that's a weird way to do it. I mean, it's literally a profit hike. It's yeah. I guess that's, I thought the money were just power ups. I didn't realize it was like the core concept of the game. Yeah, we gotta get as much money as I can. Why is there money out here? That may have been explained, but I wasn't. Paying attention. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I was just very excited to get back in. We should do that uh, more often. Pay attention. No. These people work so hard to make a game. They gave it to us for free, and we don't even give them the decency of watching the little opening animation. The common goddamn. Curse. You know that's why it's unskippable because it's very important. If it turns out that's true, I'm very sad. <laughs> I mean, it might be a little true. Oh, you're hurting him! His head hurts! He likes it. I'm, I'm sad I'm not getting I that mean, money, but at the same time... I was going to say, you know there's money there. I know how you are. you got to get all the money. Fine, Andrew. I'm not, I, I, I wouldn't have gotten it. Like, right. that's, that's not my bag, baby. Don't you dare. Austin, Austin Powers. Don't let people know we watched those movies recently. We just watched all three of those movies. And let me tell you, each one is twice as bad as the one before it. <laughs> that is an accurate way of breaking those down. <laughs> yeah, I got the money, see? I'm very happy. Whee! Okay, here we go. I got a big ice Ooh, block Who's up that there. guy up there? I like him. I guess there's a reindeer on his shirt. I think so. Because it looks like the katakana for power or direction. I don't remember because they look too similar. A powerful direction. It's a powerful direction. It's one of each, yeah. It's it's a shirt for one direction. Yes. There you go. That works. I need speed. Yeah, you need speed. God, I love taking speed. Mmm. Mmm, good speed. Wait, are you- are you pogoing? You are Switch McDuck. <laughs> yes, I am. Is this just DuckTales? Is, is this just live-action DuckTales? Is this live-action for you? I mean, he's a man, so yes, it's live-action. <laughs> God, one day they're going to make a live-action DuckTales movie. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how to, like... How to parse that concept. How, yeah, is it, oh, is, it, some money. is it like... Is it gonna be live action Lion King in that it is not at all live action? <laughs> I mean, we won't know what that's like just yet. The I mean, thing they're about, making that movie right the now. The thing about live action Lion King, yeah, we're, yeah, it hasn't come out yet. But I don't know if it is at all live action at all. Because... Because it's gonna be like weird CGI nonsense. Yeah, probably. but the thing is, like, why would you at this point? Like, I know, like, Disney did. I think, I think it was. Yeah, Disney did Dinosaur back in like the early aughts. Yeah. And that was like the thing about that is that it was 
a dinosaur movie with CG dinosaurs and real live backgrounds. But nowadays, like, even the li real live backgrounds in real live movies are CG. Like, like Deadpool, like that whole, like, car chase scene, like, not a shred of that. Like, it was like, that was all CG. It like, was. Deadpool and the car and the highway and the city were all CG. It's and I didn't notice at that. all. Like, it was, like, it fooled me, and I'm usually fairly good at seeing that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. So if Lion King is that, then is it a live-action movie? I don't know. It depends. I'm If there are, like, live-action sets involved... Yeah, but that's the thing. They don't have to do that. They don't, but at some point, you can't call your movie live-action anymore. The thing is, like, not only, the, so hard. not only do they not have to do that, it would behoove them not to, because, first of all, like, they can control the camera any which way they want. Rather than like having to like force their CG characters into like they gotta go on location, get the shots they want, force the CG characters into the shots, where it's just like just make just make a set. Like populate some trees. Make the gorgeous sunset from the movie. Like there's so many ways. Like like why would they ever why would they make it live action backdrop? That's a good question. Like Lion King is it's CG Lion King. It's it's 3D animation Lion King. It's not live action. <gasps> oh, oh, no. oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh. oh there we go. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, are you, it's, it's it's a reflection. I was like you have a ghost on your back. It's also a Christmas carol. It's everything. It's every Christmas property. I don't get a base camp here? Is this guy from another game? I don't or, think so. So this is just, he was made for this. As far as I know, he was made for this. Okay. I mean, he was made for this. Mm-hmm. So good. That's right. Huh. Ho! -ho. <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, I'm not talking very much, but that's because... It's, it's a difficult it's twist extreme. there. What, what, wait, what was up there? Were there new... Oh, it's more of those guys. Or those clowns. Those 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 cube clowns. Those jabronis. Jabroni. That's a word we don't use enough. Right. Jabroni. Oh, this is this is this is making me nervous. It should. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, and and you got and you got there. Well, that's fine. It's fine. You're up there. No, I have to get the buddy again. Oh, what? Oh, 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 the, like the base camp is like a bank. It's like, it's like your, where you store your souls. Yes. It's a bonfire from Dark Souls. This is, this is me not knowing anything about Dark Souls. To be, to be fair, I've never played it. Um. <gasps> I feel like the music is... You could store store your souls in bonfires. Is that how this game works? Is that how the dark souls works? You have to collect your soul potion and put it into the fireplace. It's nice that they like fire. I oh. You I get, can't leave this big bag of money behind. You, you you call up your friends on the old telephone and tell them to enter in your game and fight the monsters with you in the ghost form. Nice. I'm glad you're having fun with your friends. We need to do a podcast where I try to describe games that I should know how to play but don't. It'll be called Shake the Box. <laughs> and we did it already. How deep? We we already made this. It's called the entire channel Shake the Box. It's the core concept of the it's, whole it's... channel. <laughs> Alright. Shit. You're there just you're go. just flinging them around. I have a plan. And the plan I mean, is to make myself some, some. I mean, that's not a bad plan. Some stairs. Pop, Fuck. pop. Fuck. He's a mad, angry man. <laughs> As that one gently listed, listed down to the ground, I knew that was gonna happen. My fork. <laughs> Oof. I knew I was gonna get rid of Oof. my my current platform. Yeah. Oh, they put that there because they know you're gonna ah, land on it. That they did. That they did, my boy. That they did. My boy. <gasps> my boy.
and we're okay. We made it up here. You're leaving everything behind. It's fine. It's fine because yeah, I mean we're pretty we're just, much at the end of this. Episode. Yeah, we're we're just about rounding out this. Uh... Do these levels end? I mean, I gotta make it to the very top. It's like ice climbers. But is that the is that the end of the game or the level? You know, I don't think I've ever made it to the end. Maybe maybe it's procedurally generated and you and you will never end. And it's when you quit that's when the game ends. When you learn that money's not everything. Yeah, yeah, that's. Until Fort Parker learns this valuable lesson that family is the true wealth. I like um I'd like to make a, a series of games uh, um yeah. where we uh, uh like like the game over condition is good. Like like w when you were you know when you when you give up you know like it's game over you lose yeah. but but it's sort of like you've learned yeah. that money isn't everything. Yeah, that'd be a good ending. Well, I guess we should end this episode because it has been our allotted holiday uh, 15 minutes of Jingle Jangle fun times. Alright, well I learned a lot. I learned that I just want to keep on playing this game, which is a problem because I need to oh. stop. That's the fun of it. The more you play, the more you want to play. I love that it looks like he's throwing a tantrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this guy's name? Fork Parker. Fork Parker. Look at that cool snowman. He is really cool. He's got sunglasses and everything. And he pops you. He just... He pops you one. Oh. Did I, I bounced off his snowball. He's got no nose, though, which is uncommon. Hey, look at this! Oh, you can't go down that far. That's nice. I thought about everything. I thought about everything. Just like Lisa. Just like Lisa. I already ordered a pizza. She's so beautiful. You think about everything. All right, well, thanks for joining us yeah. for Paul Parker's Holiday Hike. Once we devolve into the room references, you then, know then we're you done. you know it's the end of the episode. See you next time for another Christmas time fun extravaganza, or maybe a New Year's game after, if I can find after, one. After Christmas, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Fine. Don't worry about it. Why are you worrying? Stop worrying! Let's click play and watch our show! Get out of here! Get out of here! Let's ditch this loser. I don't like him anymore. You stupid animal. Dude, he's just creep. I don't like him anymore. I messed it up. Let's ditch this creep. I don't like him anymore. <laughs> Damn it.